In 661, St. Wilfred was given by the king the ownership of the lands of a mountainous adjoining the Ribble, and when he came here, he set about building our first church on some high ground at the intersection of the tracks coming westward from Waltonley Dale and north from Penwitham. This has always been the site of the parish church, and St. Wilfred's building became the religious and the secular centre for the town that was growing up around it. Public meetings were held in the churchyard. It was St. Wilfred's town, Priest's town, with its special coat of arms. The sacrificial lamb, the Prince of Peace, PP, letters which have also been used for the title Proud Preston. started their terms of office on the 12th of October, St. Wilfred's Day, and the church porch was the place where they handed over the rod of office. The land was taken over forcibly from St. Wilfred by marauding Danes crossing via the Ribble from the Isle of Man to York. Twenty years after the Battle of Hastings, William the Conqueror sent out commissioners to survey what he had captured. He gave land to Roger of Poitou. Roger had been given lands in Lancashire because of his service at the Battle of Hastings and he gave certain privileges to the burgesses of Preston. No sheriff may interfere in the borough of Preston in a moundiness concerning any plea or plaint or dispute or any other matter belonging to the aforesaid town except the pleas of the crown. When Roger fell from royal favour the Burgesses dealt directly with Henry I, a king who wanted to encourage trade and was glad to have associations with his town as important as Preston. Guilds were founded for the physical protection of families and to provide benefits in times of sickness or bereavement. Merchant and trade guilds followed. We hold a guild court every 20 years to let everyone know the conditions on which guild privileges can be obtained to demonstrate the important position our town occupies and to remind everyone of the valuable privileges that the free men of Preston enjoy and preserve so carefully. We may have had a royal charter as early as 1100 but we most certainly got one in 1179 from Henry II. <laughs> Henry, King of England, etc., to his archbishops, bishops, abbots, earls, barons, justices, sheriffs, and all his officers and liegemen throughout England. Greetings. Know ye that I have granted, and by this my present charter have confirmed to my burgesses of Preston all the liberties, privileges, and free customs which I have given to my burgesses of Newcastle under Lyme. Wherefore, I will and firmly command that my aforesaid burgesses of Preston have and hold and in peace, freely and quietly, fully and entirely and honourably, both within the borough and without the borough, all those liberties and free customs, saving my right of administering justice, which the burgesses of Newcastle under Lyme have, as I have, Preston provided. Preston is the oldest royal borough in Lancashire and has been granted over a dozen royal charters. One privilege is the right to hold fairs. By now, Preston has become a market town and a centre of increasing influence in the county of Lancashire. 
Prestonians of those days enjoyed country and maple dancing. Happy